is the Jason Walker Show. Two-time National Sports Media Association Montana Sportscaster of the Year and three-time loser, the Jason Walker Show. The best local and statewide sports coverage featuring the biggest guests from Montana. Flint Rasmussen uh, joining us here on the Jason Walker Show. He's freaking exhausting, too. You used to dance a lot more. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm 51 years old now. The NAI Hall of Famers, Mike Van Deese joining us here, Jason Walker Show. And is it just a deal where quarterbacks have to be good golfers? Well, that's all they have time for. They don't work out. They don't lift weights. They don't do anything else. They might as well go get on the golf course and at least have some fun. And from across the country. Doug Gottlieb, I guess, here on the Jason Walker Show. End of the day, remember, it, it's your show. It's got your name on it. Howie Mandel, our guest here. Jason Walker. Deal or no deal. The Jason Walker Show. Broadcasting from the Major Mortgage Man Cave. Here's Jason Walker. Hey, what up? Happy uh, Wednesday. The Jason Walker Show presented by Capital Collision Center. Montana State Law says it is your vehicle. It is your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center. Coming up, Major Mortgage Man Cave. Today, we'll talk to Helena High Coach Scott Evans about the loss to Butte. Look ahead to Hellgate. And uh, how important is culture? We'll talk about that with uh, Coach Evans. Also uh, going to check in with Alex Ashelman, SWX uh, Montana, ABC Fox Sports reporter. She is going to join us weekly now for uh, throughout the fall season for That's What She Said, uh, brought to you by Dinner's Done Right. And uh, she has a lot of knowledge on uh, Gallatin Valley Preps along with the Cats and the Grizz, so we'll talk to her uh, coming up uh, as well. A week from today, because I, I feel bad, we just had a guy show up, a friend of mine, to talk about the uh, DAV and the Disabled American Vets, Dan McGowan, and we had our dates mixed. I sent him one date, and then I scheduled a different date, so I, I, it's my fault. But he'll join us next week. <laughs> I feel bad sending him home, but uh, it's all right. I'll get him out. We'll, we'll go golf, and he'll be fine uh, there. So, All right. Uh, you can watch on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. You can listen on Podbean, Network One Sports, TreasureStateRadio.com, and much, much more. Go to jasonwalkershow.com, our Twitter handle, at jwalkersports, and our uh, Facebook page as well. You can email jason at jasonwalkershow.com, and also uh, call in or text 406-209-1267. All right, so yesterday it came out uh, just before we hit the air that uh, Missoula Sentinel High School was going to be placed on probation. And uh, we kind of speculated at a couple of, you know, why, one was the recruiting violation from a couple of years ago that was, uh, the school was fined $100 and uh, recruiting a um, kid from uh, Drummond Phillipsburg, Flint Creek. Was it Jace Kluswich or was it someone else? Uh, I think it was Jace. Maybe not. But uh, the kid ended up going off to uh, Sentinel and then the Grizz, which is cool. It's great. But you can't recruit in high school. Also, uh, Executive Director Mark Beckman uh, confirmed to 406mtsports.com and the Missoulian Tuesday that the other issue was the track and field issue from this year, in which um, Brooke Stainer competed in more events at state than she should have. It started at the Western AA meet, and then it went on to the state AA meet. And there was, you know, there's been all sorts of hearings. Um, Stainer was entered in five events. And the 200, the 400, the 100 hurdles, the 300 hurdles, and the long jump, and then competed in the 400-meter relay and the 1,600-meter relay. And she can't compete in seven events. So... It's uh, it, it so it, it at divisionals she can only compete in five, including relays. At state, you're allowed to compete in seven, five individual and two relays. So she didn't do anything wrong, but it would have been divisional. So anyway, it's a big big deal. But Missoula Sentinel is basically on probation now uh, until the end of the 2022 uh, school year which is next May as far as sports seasons. So just it is what it is, man. You just don't cheat. 
To me, the recruiting violation from a couple of years ago is the biggest deal. And, you know, it's over, it's done. It's happened, I think, twice that teams have gotten caught over the last, you know, four or five decades. But just don't cheat. It's that simple, right? Uh, let's see, what else did we want to hit on? Oh, COVID is rearing its, well, political head again. Uh, Knoxon High School is remote learning through September 24th and shutting down athletics. And Plains High School is closed until Monday and will not play this weekend. Those are, uh, according to 406mtsports.com, the two schools right now that are not playing sports due to COVID. Uh, Noxon was scheduled to have a bye anyway and is scheduled to play at Gardner on the 25th. Plains did lose a game set for Victor. Uh, Great Falls High is remote learning, but they are still playing sports, the Bison are, including football hosting second-ranked Billings West Friday night at Memorial. CJI, Chep, uh, Chester Joplin Inverness, has a lack of support staff, but is still planning to play Sims this weekend in football. Eureka has closed its elementary schools because of a COVID outbreak, and, but not high school, sixth-ranked. Lions will host Cutbank and win uh, against Cutbank on Friday. Uh, Rocky Boy remote learning for the next uh, eight days, but they're still playing sports. Hayes Lodge pulls back to in-class learning. Football has yet to play, but they're playing Chinook Friday. Scheduled. So, yay COVID, it's back. There are a couple of big uh, soccer matches in the Queen City today. You've got the Capitol and Helena High soccer clubs facing off against each other. Capitol and Helena High boys are tied in the division. In fact, they've been underway for about an hour. No update score yet. Uh, Let's see here. And then the girls will play at five. Helena High girls are uh, sitting number one in the West. Capitals number two. So that's, uh, that's a big deal. Big, uh, big soccer matches at Nelson Stadium in Helena today. Class poll or class double A polls are out. 406mtsports.com power polls. And Sentinel sits on top despite not playing last week because Hellgate had the COVID. Hellgate is back this week hosting Capital or Helena High rather. And we'll talk to Helena High coach Scott Evans coming up. West number two. Glacier is three, Butte four, Helena dropped to five. So Butte jumps into the pole after beating Helena, and the Bengals drop from three to five. Class A, Hamilton, Laurel, Billing Central, Whitefish, Polson, your top five. Class B, Florence, Carlton, Fairfield, Townsend, Columbus, and Big Fork, the top five. Florence, Carlton will host Townsend this week at Washington Grizzly Stadium on Saturday afternoon. That'll be a good game. Uh, let's see, Eureka, Malta, Jefferson, Big Timber, and Three Forks sitting in uh, 6 through 10. In 8-man, Drummond, Phillipsburg, Fort Benton, Joliet, Scobie, Thompson Falls, 1 through 5, and then followed by Culbertson, Alberton, Superior, Belt, Sheridan, and Sims. And then 6-man, Freud Lake, White Sulphur Springs, Hot Springs, Broadview, Levina, Bridger, Richie Lambert, Power Dutton, Brady, Shields Valley, Denton Geyser, Stanford, Grass Range, Winnet. Number nine, and then Geraldine Highwood in 10. Shields Valley is playing Freud Lake this week. Huge game in six, man. It's going to be a good one. I love it. Love the high school uh, football. Really like a high school sports, right? Like you? Yeah. So uh, let's see what else we got coming up. Uh, we'll talk to Alex Esherman about the Bobcats. She will join us for That's What She Said. I uh, did want to mention, remember yesterday during the uh, Montana Rodeo Roundup, we talked about Ruger Piva, who was 17th in the bull riding standings. He did not win the uh, Pendleton Extreme Bowls, but he earned enough money to jump from 17 to 15. So if the season ended today, Ruger Piva, former Western Cowboy, would lead or go into the NFR for the first time, the Wrangler National Finals. 
Uh, right now, he is uh, $3,800 and change up on Jordan Spears. So a nice weekend uh, for Ruger Piven. Remember, there are 15 days left in the regular season for uh, the PRCA. So there's that. All right, quick break. We'll come back, and when we do, we're talking football with Helena High Coach Scott Evans. How did the Bengals rebound from last week's tough loss on the road at Butte and... Where are they headed this week? They'll play Hellgate, but not where you normally would play Hellgate. And we'll talk about that coming up with Helena High Coach Scott Evans next on the Jason Walker Show, which is presented by Capital Collision Center. Montana State Law says it is your vehicle. It is your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center. New vehicles keep coming, and Capital Collision Center keeps earning certifications to repair them. They're Helena's newest GM-certified facility. No matter the make or year, they repair your car to manufacturer's standards and requirements, maintaining its safety and value. Montana State Law says it's your vehicle, and it's your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center, certified in GM, Subaru, and Nissan, and Helena's only shop certified in Honda, Acura, and Ford. When you value safety, go to Capital Collision Center on Euclid. Have you thought about buying a home and just don't know where to begin? Well, when it comes to one of the most important purchases one can make, we understand it can be frustrating and confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Let the Major Mortgage Team help you with all your mortgage needs. Major Mortgage means major service, and we would love the opportunity to help you today. Give J.R. McFadden, NMLS number 1246357, a call today at 406-465-1918. Or you can visit him at 2001 11th Avenue, Building A, Suite 3 in Helena. Major Mortgage is a division of AMCAP Mortgage, NMLS number 129122. Equal housing lender. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings, or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State from rodeos to portraits and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work, then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot. Or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces, stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. MarkLaRoePhotography.com Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinners Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Welcome back to the Jason Walker Show. Welcome back, Jason Walker Show, inside the Major Mortgage Man Cave. We are presented by Capital Collision Center. Still to come, that's what she said with Alex Ashelman. Get her thoughts on the first couple of weeks of the Big Sky football season, as well as preps. Also on this day in history, the walk-off, much more still to come. If you want to weigh in, you can, at Jay Walker Sports on the Twitter. You can also... Get a hold of us, 406-209-1267. Text or call. Well, the Helena High Bengals suffered the uh, first loss of the season last week, falling on the road at Butte 34-20. 
never really could get anything going. And uh, got uh, gave up more points than uh, they had, a, well, almost three times as many points, two and a half, as they had all season. Joining us now to talk about how to bounce back from that tough first, lo- uh, first loss is the head coach of the Bengals, Scott Evans, joining us on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. All right, Coach, a, uh, a tough game on Friday night, but uh, give me some positives. Well, you know, positives that number one is it's early in the season and you get to learn from it. You know, everybody kind of expects your first game or second game to be the game to learn from, but well, I guess we'll learn from our third game more than any other game. So there's a lot to be said for it. I mean, you played a good football game and we just, we got to get back on our horse and do the job we need to do. We talked early in the season. We talked last week about this, how good Butte was, and they came to play. And, I, you know, I think they – maybe they felt it as a uh, – hey, look, we got a chance to take out one of the state's top teams, and they played really, really well. They did. You know, they did a good job. They had a good scheme. And the things that they did didn't really surprise us too much. You know, they didn't do anything too drastically different than before. They just executed very well, and their quarterback had a good game. So – I got to give Coach Gray and his staff and his kids a lot of credit for playing a great football game. How's practice been this week? Been great. You know, that's, that's the nice thing about it is, is we got a good, resilient crew, and, you know, they know what they need to be done. And they took the criticism, they took the flack from what, what was given, and, you know, they took, understood what they did wrong, and our coaches did as well, and they kind of went all out this week and have had a great week of practice. That's good uh, because you, you don't want to, you know, have this steamroll as, as it, it could, but you guys are too, too quality of coaches to allow that to happen. Yeah, you know, like I said, I got a great staff, and our coaches kind of took it to heart this week too as well, just like our players. And, they, it, it's, you know, it's, it gets emotional when you lose sometimes, and the reality of the situation is our, our coaches took it as a, a wake-up call, and so did our players, and so – I think our program will be better because of it. Helen, hi, Coach Scott Evans, our guest, Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. You're at Hellgate this week, and before we talk about venue, let's talk about Hellgate. They were off last week because of COVID, but they're back and ready to roll. And Mick Morris has done a nice job over the last few years to get this team back into the conversation. You know, they're in the playoffs uh, the last couple years, one year because everybody was. But uh, this is a team that's gotten better over the last three, four years. Yeah, I think Coach Morris has done a good job of making those kids feel good about the program itself and added some energy level that they needed at that program and just gave them a situation where, number one, is they, they can to play a fun brand of football. They throw the ball around quite a bit, and a lot of kids want to do that. So I think he's given them some legitimacy in the, the league now. And, I mean, he just, once again, it's all about kids in the first place. So it's great to see for those kids more than anything else. Well, and, you know, and we've talked in, off the air over the last few years, too, about, you know, the culture and cultures in whether it was Great Falls with Mark Sampson having to change the culture there. But Mick Morris had to change the culture in Hellgate, and he's done that. And now you're seeing the, the benefits off the field, not uh, especially, but on the field as well. Absolutely. That's, you know, that's, that's the big thing. We, you stated it very well there is, Culture defines everything in your life. You know, it's it's who you are as a person. It's what you do on the football field and off the field. And I, I think number one is that was definitely one of the big things that they had to do there. And I think they've done a good job of taking care of that right now and getting themselves in a position where number one is they're a legitimate program now. What do they do well um, on both sides of the ball that you guys have to prepare for? I think right now, you know, they've got a good quarterback. The Dick kids are one of the better basketball players in the state. After an injury last year where he couldn't play football, he came back and he does a good job distributing the ball. He got two of the better receivers, I think, in the state, Finch Kid and the Vlardy Kid, number one and number 11. They do a good job of getting the football in their hands and taking care of it and, you know, and making big plays, you know, and they do, they get the guys, the ball and the athlete. And not defensively, they run a three scheme, a 30 front like we do and do some stuff with that little, little different scheme than you see from a lot of guys. But I think, I think offensively is where their strong point is. And how do you guys combat that on the defensive side? You know, we got to do a good job of playing our positions. You know, I I think the last week and the two weeks prior to that, we didn't we didn't handle our job very well. We tried to handle somebody else's job, and so it's back to us playing single defense the right way. And that means we go through the process and we take care of trusting our assignment and our alignment. And so we're gonna do we've done a good job of that this week, getting that back in gear and take care of it. Coach Schulte and his staff on the defense side, and then offensively. Honestly, it's about catching the ball and not making mental mistakes. 
we had some opportunities last week against Butte that we squandered, dropped some footballs, and that's just mental focus. So, you know, we have a rule up here. We took it from another coach. It's called 12% rule, and we haven't lived up to that, and that 12% of your plays can't go negatively, whether it be penalties, sacks, um, drop footballs, things like that. And we're not done a good, not have done a very good job of that right now. So we're going to take care of those situations to get our, our focus back. Oh, and I Bengal coach Scott Evans joining us, Jason Walker show. Um, mentally is, I mean, the, we're talking about 16 to 18 year old kids and we, we, we discuss this every year and it, you just never know what kids are thinking and it's tough to get them. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, these are, these are kids. <laughs> Yeah, no, you know, and, and I, I think that's that's a great way of putting it. They are 16, 18-year-old kids, and they're out playing a game that they have fun with, and sometimes they don't – I mean, it, it's definitely not life or death by any means, but it's, it's trying to value their it, – It's I think more than anything else, you got to teach them about the value of their teammates and the value of working together. And if we can get that through their heads, it works pretty well. And most of them are very resilient, and they understand. I think one thing COVID has taught us, the resiliency of our kids. And so we got to appreciate that and we can't disrespect it. We got to respect it and know that our kids are trying to do the best thing they possibly can. And we got to walk them through it at times. So I think we've done a good job of that this week and got our kids back in a situation where they feel good about themselves and they can walk out in that field and know that number one is a loss is just a loss. You move forward from it. You, uh, you also said a phrase that I hadn't heard in a few years, but assignment and alignment. Thanks coach Van Deest. Yeah, you know, we kind of come from the same old school thing. You know, I, I, I'm a firm believer in that. And I, people who know me know that my life is very precise. And, and my assignment alignment, my life is that way as well. So, and our guys got to get back to that. You know, that's that, that's the nuts and bolts of football. It doesn't matter what you throw as a scheme. If you can't do assignment alignment, you might as well not be playing the game. Scott Evans, our guest, Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. He coaches the Helena High Bengals 2-1 and one on the season at Hellgate this week. But you're not playing – at Missoula County Public Stadium, you're playing at Washington Grizzly Stadium. And it's a different environment. It's it's a cool environment. I've still never attended a game there, high school or college, but um, this is cool for the kids. It is. You know, it's a, what a great venue. I mean, I mean, there's, no, you know, everything that we have in the state of Montana, there's certain venues that are just great. We had the opportunity now to play Memorial Stadium, Naranchi, and now we get another one of the big venues in the state, and that's Washington Grizzly Stadium. And, I think the, the opportunity for kids to see what it looks like and to be on that field. And I just think it's an experience that we can't give them anything else. And I, I, I love the chance and opportunity for the kids to see that. So we're going to take full advantage of it and make sure our kids enjoy their trip down there. And first and foremost, do our job down there more than anything else. And then of course the next day you get uh, Townsend and Florence Carlton. So you got a couple of big matchups there this weekend. Yeah. You know, it's, it's funny. I just, I just talked to the Florence coach last week and wished him luck. He's having a great thing there. He's an old Western guy, so Shane's doing a great job with his crew. And then the coach around down at um, – low down at uh, – Townsend does a great job. So that's a heck of a football game down there. So they get two in a row, so that's a nice deal. You, Keep that place packed. Are you going to you gonna ride the bus over and then just stay over and watch the Class B game? <laughs> I, I doubt that. I, <laughs> you know, I, I doubt that. I have, a, you know, I have a, a pretty much a rule of thumb that – I, I go home, I celebrate for a short time, and I get back on the, the working trail again on that Saturday morning. So I, yep. I pretty much have a pretty good routine about that one. Your assignment so, and alignment. Uh, exactly right. My <laughs> assignment and alignment is pretty drawn out and lined out for my days every day. So I like it that way. Hey, speaking of Western, what a huge non-conference win at Dickinson the other day because um, I've, I've never been high on Dickinson. I know they've got a lot of Montana kids, but they play in a, a really bad league. Um, but what a great performance by the Bulldogs on the road, trailing by, uh, what, I think, nine at the half, and then exploding there in the second half to get that huge win. Yeah, you know, it, that's, a, that's that resiliency, you know. I, like I said, I mean, I, I think there's a great victory for that program and a great job by Coach Norris and the staff at just getting things done. So, you know, I, that's cool. And, I, you know, the worst thing about it is football's a real close game, so I know all the coaches on the Dickinson staff as yeah. well. So you want them guys to do the best they can, but – Boy, it's sure nice to see a Montana team taking somebody else. Yep, yep. And, well, you saw Montana and Montana State do that last week. What are your thoughts on the big sky? I, I tell you what, it's going to be a battle in the end. I think, oh. you know, the two teams that we have in state right now are two of the premier programs in 
the nation year in, year out. But I think there's going to be a heck of a battle at the top as far as we go. You know, I got to watch Montana live and then watch some film on MSU the other day. And they're, they're just as good. I mean, that's going to be a heck of a battle all the way through the year. All right. You pick your pick your favorite, uh, Cam Humphreys or Matt McKay, because they're both really good right now. You know, I'm going to go with my boy down in Grizzly Land. I, I loved what he did. I, you know, he's got a lot more scrap than people give him credit for. Mm-hmm, yep. And I haven't got a chance to see McKay really live or anything like that. And I've got to watch Cam a couple times on television and also watch him in practice and stuff. And I, I just kind of like, he's got a little boxy to him. So I kind of like what he's doing. How many games have you won in your career? How many games? I think I'm at 22. 22 or 23 wins. Okay, so you got a ways to go to catch Bobby. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm about, you know, just 78 short or so, I think I got to go. <laughs> hey, that's only like seven more years. You got this. Yeah, you know, heck, I keep my average up. I can get there by the time I'm in my 60s, so <laughs> that'll be all right. Hey, Coach, appreciate the time. Good luck uh, over there. Have fun at Washington Grizzly Stadium. Get a big win, and uh, we'll talk next week. Sounds good, Jason. I appreciate it very much. And go Bengals. Yeah, I want to high coach Scott Evans joining us. Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. Always fun to talk with him. We'll do it uh, each and every week throughout the football season. And uh, Kyle Mahelish as well. If there's anybody you would love to see on the show, let us know. At Jay Walker Sports on the Twitter, you can uh, call in to text 406-209-1267. Always, uh, uh, this is your show. You know? uh, let's see here. Uh, what did I just, oh, I saw this. The Billings Outlaws who are going to be back playing indoor football at uh, the Metra starting next March. Champions Indoor Football League are holding local tryouts Is it this week. Yeah, Saturday at 1 o'clock. Um, Outlaws Chief Technical Officer Rich Sickler said, quote, as long as you can register your name and pay a $35 registration fee, we'll let you try out. We're not guaranteeing you make the team, but you'll get a coach's eye on you. We are always looking for local talent, and hopefully we'll uncover a local gym, end quote. you got to be 18 to try out. Uh, wear basic workout clothes. Warm up. <laughs> Sickler said you should warm up and stretch when you arrive. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be fun. Maybe the you know what? Uh, who was the dude from Philadelphia? They got the trial for the Eagles. They did the movie about it with Mark Wahlberg. Uh, made the team. Played actually in the in the league for a while. But maybe 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 you got your chance. You never know. Give it a shot if you're in Billings or if you just want to drive down. Oh man! Best of luck to you. Best of luck. All right, let's take a break. We'll come back. And when we return, we're going to chat about um, cats, grizz, high schools. That's what she said is back. Dinner's done right. And we are going to talk to Alex Eshelman from ABC Fox Montana. She's fantastic. And we'll talk to her next and get her thoughts on the cats and grizz and more next on the jason walker show this segment brought to you by ruckers furniture make the quality choice for your home at ruckers furniture 1010 dearborn helena Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Everyone knows about Dinner's Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinner's Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinner's Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. 
New vehicles keep coming, and Capital Collision Center keeps earning certifications to repair them. They're Helena's newest GM certified facility. No matter the make or year, they repair your car to manufacturer's standards and requirements, maintaining its safety and value. Montana State Law says it's your vehicle and it's your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center, certified in GM, Subaru, and Nissan, and Helena's only shop certified in Honda, Acura, and Ford. When you value safety, go to Capital Collision Center on Euclid. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings, or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Have you thought about buying a home and just don't know where to begin? Well, when it comes to one of the most important purchases one can make, we understand it can be frustrating and confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Let the Major Mortgage Team help you with all your mortgage needs. Major Mortgage means major service, and we would love the opportunity to help you today. Give J.R. McFadden, NMLS number 1246357, a call today at 406-465-1918. Or you can visit him at 2001 11th Avenue, Building A, Suite 3 in Helena. Major Mortgage is a division of AMCAP Mortgage, NMLS number 129122, equal housing lender. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of The Jason Walker Show. Welcome back to The Jason Walker Show. Welcome back. Final segment on a Wednesday. Coming up tomorrow, scheduled, East Helena high coach Tyler Murray. Vigilante's yet to score this season. Maybe that'll change. We'll talk about everything with him. Uh, Next week, some of our guests, uh, aside from the usuals, Jay Linderman from the Montana Pro Rodeo Hall and Wall of Fame along with Forty Smith, the actor from Yellowstone. Dan McGowan from the uh, Disabled American Vets will join us next week as well. And uh, who knows who else? I mean, yesterday we had Larry the Cable Guy. And speaking of, if you uh, are still thinking about what to do Saturday night, 7 o'clock, go watch Larry the Cable Guy. Tickets still available at the fairgrounds. And uh, get yours if you need a laugh. Larry's not, I mean, he's not going to be political. He's not going to talk crap. He's just going to tell jokes and laugh. Okay? That's what we need in America. It's what we've needed for the last 18 damn months. And it's what you're going to get Saturday night with Larry the Cable Guy. And uh, it'll be fun. And we're proud to be one of the sponsors here at the Jason Walker Show. So should I say get her done? Get her done. Buy your tickets. Get her done. There you go. If you missed our conversation with him yesterday, you can go to jasonwalkershow.com. Coming up still on this day in history, the walk-off, a former Carroll executive or former Carroll person honored by the NAI. We'll talk about it as well. But it is time now to check in with, uh, well, we love her. She's been, she's been on the show a time or two, and she is a fantastic young sports reporter and sideline reporter, and journalist, and -and up-and-comer, and, well, she's just awesome. She's the ABC Fox sports reporter down in Bozeman, works for SWX Montana. Her name is Alex Eshelman, and she joins us now for That's What She Said, and it is brought to you by Dinner's Done Right. We always hear from the guys. What about the ladies? Time for That's What She Said, brought to you by Dinner's Done Right. Three, two, one. All right. Well, uh, first off, um, I appreciate you joining us so early in the morning. You, and uh, you got up and you got dressed and everything. Like, I mean, well, I mean, you know what I mean, but like, you look professional. <laughs> Jason, of course. Here's the thing. In college, I had to uh, be up for practice at 6 a.m., ready to go, ready to do flips 
across the basketball court. So this is nothing. I got gotcha. you. Uh, we're talking with Alex Eshelman, ABC Fox Sports reporter, SWX Montana. Hey, uh, before we get started, uh, you got to – was it your first Bobcat game the other night? It was, Jason. It was, and it was everything and more that I could have ever imagined and expected. Um, you know, it was so crazy. It made me reflect when I first moved to Bozeman in May of 2020, so at the height of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And they shut down or postponed the season, I should say, in August, middle of August, which eventually was canceled in the spring. But I didn't expect that, of course, coming here in May, I was just saying, okay, let's get the – I think everybody was saying that, right? Everyone was saying, let's just get the football season, let's get the football season. It'll be fine once we reach the fall. And it turns out we're still still battling it. So – but of course, it's it's been uh, you know thankfully a little bit more back to normal and gosh, it was incredible. That fan base was up, up and at them, tailgating at the crack of dawn. Everyone had their yellow t-shirts on, which was so cool to see. Um, and it, it was incredible. It was so loud too. Holy cow! I was on the field, and it was my first time doing sideline for the game. Uh, for a college football game, and I had a hard time hearing uh, many parts throughout the game. Yeah, it was it was loud. You could tell the crowd was, especially the students, uh, were ready and fired up for a football game for the first time in almost two full years. It was uh, it was yeah. a lot of fun. They were throwing uh, they were throwing some extra yellow t-shirts <laughs> out on the field like they were flags. <laughs> yep, yep. But the cats look good. <laughs> Willie Patterson looking good, right? Willie Patterson killed it and I'm so happy for him because you know he's battled some injuries for a couple of years and for him to not only be healthy again but come out and excel like he did in his first Bobcat home game in nearly two years was pretty incredible and I know I know coach Vegan wasn't too happy about that backflip he he's a true uh, team player he made a comment after the game that, you know, this is a, this is a team effort. I'm happy for Willie, but this is a team effort. We have to celebrate as a team, but I will say that backflip was pretty freaking cool. Wouldn't you say? <laughs> it was. And as soon as I saw him lined up, I'm like, Oh, here comes a 15 yarder. Cause you just knew yeah. it was coming. I know it was so cool though. And it was. That was, that's one thing about cheerleaders. Um, you're so mad when guys can just easily throw a backflip. It's something about they they put their minds to it and they're like they just throw throw a backflip when you've been working on this standing flip for years and you're like what how how were you able to do that? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I uh, well I can't, so I never could. Um, but g- congrats <laughs> on Willie. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's let's stay with that game as we talk with uh, ABC Fox Sports reporter down in Bozeman, Alex Eshelman. Um, Matt McKay looks like to be the real deal, and it looks like the Cats finally have a quarterback for the first time in, you know, I mean, not that Tucker Rovig or, or Casey Bauman were bad, but um, a guy that can throw the ball, and, I mean, the, the, the toss he had to Lance McCutcheon down the sideline, just perfect touch, and it, 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 he's the real deal, it looks like. Yeah, he is. He is, and I think the players really respect him as well. Um, you know, he, it's a really interesting situation. Of course, he transferred here from North Carolina state in January of 2020. And here we are getting to watch his first start at home. Mm-hmm. Um, and coach house, right. Made a really in- interesting and good comment to me a couple weeks ago when we were shooting Bobcat insider, he said, you know, out of his, however many years he had at North Carolina state, he only started the first five games within his uh, redshirt junior season. Um, Other than that, most of his playing time was garbage time. Mm. So this is really his true first um, start in a way where Coach Vegan and the team is saying, this is our guy for the whole season. We want this guy to be our, our guy. And you are totally, completely right in saying it's not that Tucker Rovig or Casey 
aren't those guys? Even Tommy Malott. I mean, mm. people love that guy. He's a Butte native, yep. uh, Montana native. And Coach House also made a comment about Tommy. He said he's one of the most athletic kids on our team. So, yes, Matthew McKay uh, is definitely the guy in terms of size, in terms of athleticism. Uh, it's, it's very evident, and not to mention he earned that role. Uh, but it's nice to know that there's, there's depth there as well in that position. And in a program that has been wanting a, a more prominent pass game, it's nice to see that come to fruition this year. Well, and it was strange, too, because it, it seemed that the pass game opened up the run. Normally it's different for a football team, but it, it, I mean, Drake did a nice job uh, defensively shutting down Isaiah Fonse, at least for a while. But mm. um, Cass got South Dakota this week. What's your, uh, what's your thoughts on that one? Or um, San Diego, sorry. No, that's okay. San Diego, uh, well – it sounds to me that they run a very uh, pro style offense, which I think is in benefit of Montana state in speaking with Freddie banks yesterday for Bobcat insider. He said that we've kind of lucked out a little bit in terms of preparing for the offense for our first three games, because they've all been very similar. So defensively, I don't think this really should be uh, a problem, nor do I think it should be in a, a problem offensively. That said, USD is one of the most accomplished and successful FCS programs, yep. um, definitely in the last 10 years. So I would assume so far that this game is going to be a little tougher uh, to win than Drake has been. Uh, but I don't know, Jason. I feel confident in the cast right now. I think that they're looking good. I think Vegan is – such a great leader of this program. Um, I think that he's got a great support system with his offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, and the rest of the assistant coaches. Um, so the biggest thing that he's been honing in on is that the great teams down the line, one, are teams. They focus on each other. They're not about me, me, me. They're about the team, one. And two, we, he has specifically said we have to stay consistent. We cannot just we can't just stay where we were in our victory over Drake. We have to not only stay there, but we have to keep moving up and keep finishing and keep improving. So, so I think that they do still have the upper hand in this game, especially because we have home field advantage and experiencing that fan base. Pretty incredible. Mm. Um, and I assume it should be no different this weekend, but definitely a little more uh, type of a matchup this weekend. Uh, it's, that's what she said, brought to you by Dinner's Done Right, as we talked to ABC Fox Sports reporter Alex Eshelman. Okay, let's switch over to the other side of the hill. Bobby Howe gets his 100th career victory uh, for the Grizz. A pretty yeah. good performance. Cam Humphrey looked good. Uh, this is a mm -hmm. team that did not have the letdown. Of course, Western Illinois, mm, but he did, they didn't have the letdown that you might have thought after the big win over Washington. Now it's looking like maybe Washington – is it as good as people originally had thought after getting blown out at Michigan? But Grizz looked sure. good through two games. Their defense looks really good through two games. Oh, yeah. And one guy that I have to point out that I was able to speak at in media day uh, for the big guy was Jace Lewis. I mean, it, Jace Lewis and Dylan Cook, I spoke to both those guys. But um, just, oh, gosh, Jason, I mean – the Grizz are, I've been saying this, or I know it's early in the season, but they look scary in all the right ways this year. Mm -hmm. um, they look scary in all the, the best ways. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with, not saying that the Cats won't be, but of course I, I do think that automatically you do have a little more leverage there with, with a coach who's been there. Um, this is his 10th overall season coaching the Grizz. Mm -hmm. um, and so we know he knows that program very, very well. The got, I mean, the depth of that team is there, uh, and the 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 fire and the passion to win and to want to win is also there. Again, not saying that the Cats don't have that. I believe that they have all those qualities, but I do think that with the Grizz's upset over Washington, that set the tone right off the bat, and. I think that was kind of a uh, 
a message almost to the cast. It's like, we're coming for you. We are coming for you this season. And I think it's, and I'm so excited for the Brawl of the Wild this year. It's going to be fun. I'm a little nervous this year as a cat fan. I haven't been this nervous in, uh, in about six years, but <laughs> I feel a little nervous. Um, you know, that's the whole point. Right? Uh, and, you know, it's, I hate to give credit to the Grizz, but they look good, like I said. And Jace Lewis, being a Townsend boy, you know, just down the road here, he's a stud, and he'll be Defensive Player of the Year. He may win the Buck Buchanan Award, or maybe he should. Well, and not to mention Jason, he is such a stand-up young man. When I was able to talk with him, uh, speak so well, and is so polite. I mean, walk walked up to me and shook my hand after we did our interview and said, hey, thank you so much for the time. And all four, both the two players from Montana State and Montana did that. Uh, so it was pretty cool to see that. And But specifically, Jace was so, so nice. Alex Eshelman, our guest here, Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. Switch over to the preps. And what have you noticed the first uh, couple of weeks of the prep season? What stood out to you? Well... Here's the thing, Jason. It's been interesting. Last year, I was able to cover high school a lot more than I have been able to this year because of the Cats football season and volleyball season and their fall sports schedule uh, mm -hmm. being back. So this has almost been like a, a first year for me all over again and adjusting to a newer, a little different fall schedule. But what, and I, with that said, I haven't been able, I actually haven't been able to go to a, a one Bozeman Hawks football game this season, um, nor have I been able to go to a Bozeman Hawks volleyball game, which they're on the docket for me. <laughs> um, but ha when those games are in town, I've been traveling with Montana State for their away football game. So I'm going to speak on Gallatin first because I've yep. seen both their, their volleyball team and their football team. Gallatin um, is – quickly, I think, going to climb the ranks of double A play. They have 22 seniors. They went, This is their first ever senior class. They have twice as many seniors as Bozeman does, which is really, really interesting because it's the second year of seeing this two high school situation mm -hmm. in Bozeman happen, um, and it looks to me that Gallatin has more of the upper hand this season than Bozeman, so that'll be really interesting come October when they have their, their Crosstown rivalry game. Same with Gallatin. Um, I don't know the, the senior ratio between Gallatin and Bozeman, but I was actually just able to uh, call a game with Zach Mackey, the voice of the Bobcats. Uh, Gallatin was hosting Billings West volleyball boy was Billings West good yeah. it, and so was Gallatin they took it all the way to the to five it was a back and forth game I believe Gallatin won the first was it Gal one of the teams won the first set and then it would just switch off all the way to five and came all the way down to the wire uh in terms of Belgrade they are still adjusting to that double a division definitely I think that um it's getting better they have more senior leadership um that they're getting in the weight room a little bit more, uh, working on their size, their athleticism a little bit more. And I think over time, Eric Kinnaman, he is such a great coach. I think over time they'll have that, that program uh, become competitive in AA as well. But it's hard to tell. Uh, Alex Eshelman joining us, Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. Uh, the AA for football is so good. Both the Western Conference, you've got, you know, the – the Zula Sentinels, the Capitals looking really good. That eastern side, Gallatin starting off nice, the 2-0, and now 2-1. and But how about the Dowler boys heading and uh, from Billings West committing to Montana State? That's a big get for Brent Vegan um, and oh, the Cats. Gosh, it is a big get. And how fun is that? I mean, everybody loves those types of stories, to be able to see the brothers follow each other, two Bozeman, both go together. Um it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. And I'm, I mean, the, the dollar boys are insane yeah. in a, in a good way. Yeah. I mean, they're athletic, they're quick, they're, they're just, um, they're fun to watch. So it'll be, it'll be exciting to have them here. And I know that cast fans are very excited to have them here as well. 
And the Cats picked up a dude from Florence uh, as well. That's a, you go into the Grizz backyard and steal a guy. That's pretty impressive. I know. <laughs> I know. You know what, Jason? It's so fun. I've never lived in a place that uh, the in-state rivalry and the want to play at one of the in-state schools. Uh, when I when I was in Arizona for four years, it was similar to that. But there's something about Montana, I and mean, people live and breathe for it. Uh, I think perhaps because it's you know you don't have any pro teams here. This yep. is it. So it's a, it's that much more of a big deal. Well, there's been times that Arizona hasn't had any pro teams either, based off of records and play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they've they've done some much rough patches. I don't know. The Cardinals look to look they pretty do. good this year, they though, do. Yep. so far. Yep. Uh, Kyle, well, one game, Kyler Murray with five touchdowns. He's a uh, he's pretty good too. You can't complain there. <laughs> uh, you can find Alex on uh, SWX Montana with the Bobcat Insider Zach Mackey. But um, what are you guys working on this week? So we just shot our Bob our Bobcat Insider week. Three, yeah, three episode yesterday. Of course, we have Coach Vegan on every week. We have Daniel Jones around every other week, head coach of the volleyball team. Shout out to him. Love him. He's such a supporter um, of women and and female athletes. Uh, just love having him on the show. And then I was able to speak with Coach Banks, who, uh, of course, the defensive coordinator for the Cats. Wonderful. Um, and then I will be going to the Belgrade Bozeman football game on Friday. So nice. I'm very excited about that, as well as covering a little volleyball and possibly soccer on Thursday. So we are in full swing of it, yep. in the full swing of it, Jason. But gosh, after looking back a year and not having a, a full plate and a full schedule, it feels good. What do you think? Oh, 100%. It's fun to actually talk sports and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and be there the other night to watch that game and, you know, watch the national champion women's rodeo team, you know, the Rasmussens and Lindsey Pulsifer and Taylor Moykins lead the yeah. team out. It's the, and I don't, I'm probably being biased, I love Virginia Tech and Inner Sandman, but with the Bobcats being led out by horses, I mean, it's, you can't get any more Montana State than that. It's so true. It was, oh my gosh, it was amazing. It was amazing. It was everything that I would have hoped it would have been and more. It was awesome. And like going to the, the tailgate beforehand just to go talk to people. Of course, I was not tailgating. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I was not tailgating, <laughs> but I was talking to people uh, and talking to fans, and it was so, so fun. Also, a couple last quick shout outs. Um, Fourth all-time in receiving yards, wide receiver Kevin Cassis, also a good friend, is going to be back in town this weekend for oh. the game. So that will be fun. I'm so excited. We're gonna, I'm going to be able to do a little interview with him. And then after the game, um, Montana State Club Baseball is actually having a, uh, a rivalry game against Montana after the football game at uh, American Legion um, Baseball stadium here. I'm sorry. I'm Heroes kidding. Heroes Park. Heroes Park. Thank yep. you. Yeah. Um. So that will be that's exciting as well. A lot of fun stuff happening. No, it's uh, it's definitely cool. And uh, appreciate your uh, your insight about the Gallatin Valley, the Cats, the Grizz. We'll be talking with Alex all season long, and uh, and we'll throw in some volleyball as well because uh, I love me some volleyball. And I'm supposed to be able to get to start maybe call some games with you down the road. So. We have that to look forward to. Knock on wood. We got to get we we got to have the duo happen with volleyball. It's going to be awesome. I agree. Hey, uh, say hi to Chris Byers for me this week. I'm not coming down this weekend for the game, but uh, Chris was my teacher at broadcast school a long time ago. I love it. He is a he's a legend. He's a Montana yes. legend. I'm so grateful to work with him. So grateful to work with you. I won't see you at the home game this weekend. Happy I got to see you last weekend, and we'll see you in two weekends. <laughs> Something like that. We'll catch up, but we'll talk next week. It's Alex Ashelman. You can check her out. ABC Fox Sports reporter in Bozeman, also SWX Montana. Hey, uh, have fun working today, and thanks for getting up early. We'll talk next week. Thanks, Jason. Thank you for having me. It's a, it's a privilege.
That is Alex Eshelman joining us, and she's fun. She'll be joining us each and every week. Thanks to Dinner's Done Right. Make sure you stop in at Dinner's Done Right today and get your to-go meal for tonight. In fact, you know what? They even have just single meals. Just You can just pop in the microwave. How cool is that? Edible cookie dough? That's right, edible cookie dough. Dinner's Done Right on uh, Cedar in Helena. Uh, they also, uh, uh, their food is amazing. Check out the September menu, menu dinnersdoneright.com. Uh, let's see here. On this day in history, brought to you by Mountain Nutrition at 3222 Centennial Drive in Helena, uh, offering teas, shakes, proteins. With those, uh, you get 21 vitamins and minerals with uh, the energy shakes, or the energy teas and the shakes as well. Um, so far, I've tried a couple of the teas. Uh, the Flathead's really good. The Yellowstone is really good. Uh, the shakes, chocolate peanut butter, Reese's, but you can get puppy chow, cherry dip cone, Snickers, sugar cookie, s'mores, Dutch chocolate, French vanilla, Oreo overload, overload, Oreo overload. Yeah, Mountain Nutrition, right between BMC and uh, Auto Concepts on Centennial Drive. Today is uh, September the 15th. It is Cheese Toast Day. It is Linguini Day, Felt Hat Day. Love my felt cowboy hat. Double Cheeseburger Day. It is also uh, Tackle Kids Cancer Day, Neonatal Nurses Day, thank you to our nurses, Online Learning Day, and Greenpeace Day. In 1923 on this date at the U.S. Open, uh, Bill Tilden won the fourth of his sixth consecutive U.S. singles titles. In 1946, the Dodgers beat the Cubs 2 to nothing. The game went five innings, and then it was canceled because of Nats. 1950, for a record sixth time, Yankees first baseman Johnny Mize hits three home runs in one game. Uh, on this day in 1952, the Braves play their last game at Boston before their move to Milwaukee. 1961, the 61st U.S. amateur was won by a guy by the name of Jack Nicholas. He was 21. Muhammad Ali beat Leon Spinks in 15 for the heavyweight boxing title on this date, 1978. Happy birthday, 1911. Karsten Solheim, Norwegian born American golf entrepreneur. Uh, was born. He died in 2000, but Karsten Solheim is uh, the name behind ASU's Karsten course, which no longer exists down in Tempe, and also the Solheim Cup, which Europe just won over America uh, recently. Uh, was it last week, two weeks ago? It is also Dan Marino's birthday, 1961. On this date in 1831, the locomotive John Bull operated for the first time in New Jersey on the Camden and Amboy Railway. Why do we bring this up? Because 150 years later on this day, the John Bull becomes the oldest operable steam locomotive in the world. The Smithsonian Institution operates it under its own power outside Washington, D.C. That's pretty damn cool. We're almost at the end of the show. What did we learn? And what did he miss? Time for the walk-off. The walk-off is presented by Cafe Zydeco, where the Big Easy meets the Big Sky, and we love Cafe Zydeco because I love me some shrimp, and I love me some Cajun, and I love me some etouffee. And what else do I love? Catfish. Fried catfish. So good. That's on the menu. Get down to Cafe Zydeco and check it out. Uh, one thing we, we wanted to hit on, uh, the NAI named its national awards today. You get, like, a bunch of different awards, but uh, the Charles Morris, uh, uh, Charles Morris Administrator of the Year Award, it goes to Steve Jones, formerly of Carroll College. Uh, Jones worked at Carroll for a long time, over 30, almost 40 years, and uh, was unceremoniously let go. He retired, quote unquote, in June. Steve Jones, congratulations. And we'll see you tomorrow on TreasureStateRadio.com as they leave us. But we can do this. Uh, Jonesy was the best. Nobody will replace Jonesy. He worked in football. He worked as strength coach, athletic trainer. He, uh, he, just, he, he is the man. We love Jonesy. Carol's going to miss him. Speaking of, don't miss us tomorrow, 4 o'clock. We'll be back. Tyler Murray, East Helena High Coach, will join us. Scott Evans today. Thank you. Alex Eshelman, that's what she said. Thank you for joining us as well. We'll do it all again tomorrow. 
If you miss anything, go to jasonwalkershow.com. And we'll see you at 4. Have yourself a fantastic Wednesday night. The Jason Walker Show is produced by the Jason Walker Media Company. Any reuse, rebroadcast, or retransmission without the express written consent of the Jason Walker Show is strictly prohibited. Just listen, watch, and enjoy.